Now, I don't know about you all, but after 11 straight days of update videos, I'm pretty much done with the WX78, Wirt, and even Wormwood talk. If there's one last hotfix before its official release, I will return, of course. However, for now, I would like to return to the base game here to briefly talk a potential farm during Pearl's friendship quests. Let us set sail. Revealed to me by a viewer of mine named Mr. Mither, the almost exploit will require a little knowledge on Pearl and her tasks, so here's a bit of a recap. Messages in a bottle will spawn on the ocean quite frequently when we're either near it or on it, mind you, and reading our very first one will guarantee us the location of Pearl's Island. Now, Pearl here is crabby at first, and has roughly 14 tasks that we can do to make her less so as we go along. But for us here today, all we need to do is technically one task, as we are looking for what is called the Pinching Witch Blueprint, bought from Pearl herself after she begins to open up her bottle exchange tab. Costing boards, cut stone, and rope, the winch is used to pull and release underwater salvageables from the ocean, and Pearl herself would love it if we got rid of her own shell cluster problem at the end of the day, but be warned. Do not mine all of them immediately. For you see, we actually need the very last shell cluster to repeatedly do the farm. It is very simple, everybody. Since clearing all the salvageables around her island is a task in and of itself, we can continuously pull up and then release the final shell cluster into the ocean here to have Pearl throwing out bundles of thanks over and over and over again. Folks, this is it. This is legitimately the farm right here, right now. It is this fast to get to and this fast to do too. But here's the thing though, if all we have done is one task and it's not the flower planting quest, all of these bundles will only contain shell bells. Just endless shell bells. Now don't get me wrong, while useful to an extent in and of themselves, we can absolutely do better. Now, if you're only looking to perform this farm and not really do her whole quest, then the only task you should do is the planting of 10 butterflies near her special beehive here. Do so, head back to wherever you're doing the farm, and do said farm for as long as you bloody want. Because here's the thing. Pearl will remember how many times you have pulled the cluster from the sea, even if she isn't close by to you. And the reason why we should do that specific task is because then, suddenly every bundle of thanks is gonna now contain a quote-unquote free piece of honey. And with how quickly we can spam the pinching winch, this might actually be the very best honey farm in the entire game. So take advantage. But yes, before we go, we should definitely make a few notes on shell bells, considering how many we'll be getting here for sure, but also the fact that some of you might be new here. Shell bells can be used to automatically tend to sad plants by walking near them to play their tunes, of course. Shell bells are able to be hammered for things called broken shells, in case you didn't know, which in turn can be used to create potted ferns, things that have recently gotten cheaper at the end of the day. Pearl sells a second to blueprint for stuff called shell turf, and would you bloody believe it, the turf costs shells to create. And finally, broken shells also go into the seed packet, which is essentially a portable fridge for seeds alone that will help preserve them like fridges do. They're not bad, especially after some recent updates. And there you have it everyone, a short and potentially very sweet guide on how to infinitely farm bundles of thanks and thus honey via Pearl's friendship tasks. Thanks again to Mr. Mither for telling me about this just the other day, and I hope it helps folks out there now too. Thanks for watching. Well, wishes to all. Get to pinching and winching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.